Uh, Alpine High, uh, very interesting area, a lot of press on this. Um, I uh, did some work, um, um, Dan and Kent, you might remember, John, um, uh, Dallas Production going and looking in Reeves County for Barnett Shale equivalent for shale gas. Yes. And uh, back in 2000, I, I can't remember, I think it was 2003, but I'm not sure. One of the wells they drilled, uh, the Faskin 34, they drilled several others, and then Jake Cleo Thompson took it over. But um, uh, I had this data setting around, and you can see uh, here's a bypass pay, but it really wasn't, their target was the Barnett Shale for gas, and it really didn't have the maturity. Okay, so uh, it produced, uh, uh, I think, if I recall correctly, it's some 60,000 cubic feet of gas and eight barrels of condensate. And there were other issues, certainly, with mineralogy and the like. But one of the things I like, then, is this oil saturation index is just looking at the S1 to TOC ratio. Okay, you can see there's a lot of carbonate here. There's nothing holding that oil. <laughs> okay, it's all carbonate, like the middle member of the bucket. So that is a zone that I don't believe has been uh, completed or tested. So that's why the question mark is there. So that, that kind of leads into this area of interest. Uh, and John Chrisman, uh, who uh, is he the CEO, I think, of uh, Pioneer? Uh, Apache, I'm sorry. I can't, sorry, Matt, I keep looking at you. Okay, they publish, I love this, they publish these chromatograms, okay? But they publish them as histograms, you know, sort of taking the thunder away from the geochemistry. Ah, come on, guys, you didn't fool me. So what did I do? I sat and laboriously integrated each one of those histograms, okay? Now I have a GC trace from this area where I have no oil sample, no other data, so I love it, <laughs> okay? Um, and you can see uh, some of their um, uh, GORs uh, for some of their wells is uh, pretty high, at least the 24 hour. So I went in and I looked at uh, different of their wells in, uh, 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 from the Barnett and Woodford. You can see they're very similar, but very high GOR, whoops, GOR ranges. When you get, this is just a slope factor, and BP used to use these uh, slope factors, but you can see you're really in that wet gas condensate window. So the, the, the value, this is about the end of the um, uh, black oil window, somewhere between 1.3 and 1.2, okay? And when you get above 1.25, you've really moved into a different zone of uh, completion. So, uh, and these are Wolf Camp. I, I actually, this is one Wolf Camp, uh, that I had, but I went back and found some lower maturity wolf camps because I wanted to see how they fit into this, even though these are Barnett and Woodford. So you can see, okay, going to be a little more gassy, at least in the Barnett and Woodford. Uh, not necessarily, though, in the uh, uh, Bone Springs and uh, Wolf Camp up hole. So I don't know, I didn't digress too much. Are we okay time-wise? Um, Okay, uh, synopsis. A lot of times I put a synopsis in at the end and say, well, you heard everything. You should know what the synopsis is. But since I have time, sample quality, an issue. Uh, those SARA components, you probably haven't heard a lot about those up until the last few years. Of when I consulted for Core Labs, I said, this is something we have to have when we start looking at the Midland Basin. So those of you who are members of that consortium, you have those type of data along with the aromatic hydrocarbons and uh, diamondoids. Um, so you, you know I like these because we can reproduce it and we can do it on oils and rocks. The restored oil, so that lost oil component, but we can restore the S1 and get the, uh, uh, for the uh, uh, resource in place calculations. We can get the uh, total oil, compare that to what it could have generated, see how they compare, and we can also get the gas to oil ratio as well as API gravity. And these API uh, uh, alpine high is uh, characterized by greater than 7,500 uh, GORs. So I think that's it.